lifestyle lovers welcome back to it's e lifestyle and if you are new here welcome my name is erica my channel is called it's e lifestyle and you guys already know it's about creating a good lifestyle so lifestyle lovers this is the first vlog of 2022 as you've seen in the last clip i just finished like flat ironing my hair and i actually think i'm going to move i need you to turn that down I actually think I'm going to get ready to get a new style because I hate high maintenance hair. And if I have to sit in the mirror for 30 minutes to an hour just to flat iron it and do my edges and all that stuff, it's not the hairstyle for me. So my son, he's getting ready to go out of town. You see him? What is your problem? Oh. You better not get your hair caught up in that thing. Tell the lifestyle lovers, hey. The lifestyle lovers. So he's getting ready to head to Orlando with his cousin. They're celebrating his 12th birthday. So they're going to... Not my 12th birthday. I'm a teenager, y'all. You still talking about your birthday. Your birthday been gone for like two months now. You still celebrating? And he got a new phone. They know you got a new phone already. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. How they know? What you mean, how they know? How because they know. I told them. Don't oh, y'all know he got a new phone? They was with me when I bought it. Oh, I thought Santa bought it. Well, when, when, when Santa bought it. she got herself caught up. Well, her. <laughs> uh, 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 Santa, uh, was uh, Santa was with me. Santa was with me. Me and Santa know, met at T-Mobile. Well, well, I had to get the service. You wanna know how I know you bought it? I watched I the video. I I watched the video, y'all, y'all. Yeah, but mm -hmm. Santa, Santa was with me. Oh, you got it for free, huh? And you bought yours, okay. <laughs> Santa made that happen. No, this is free. You got this. She got y'all. She got this phone for free. I know it ain't free. But y'all, this what I wore on Christmas Day. Y'all probably can't see it. No, uh, my battery about to go dead. I was dripping. Good. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So I'm probably gonna do some home stuff today. I just went ahead and flat ironed my hair just in case I did go somewhere. Then all of the prep work is done for my hair. But I'm gonna change my battery. Hey, lifestyle lovers. So, I got my son off. He's going to Orlando, if I did not tell you guys already. So, I just pretty much prayed over him, prayed over everyone that's going to Orlando. They're going um, in celebration of my nephew's birthday. So, he'll be back tomorrow. So, just to kind of catch you guys up on some home updates. Today is, what is today? Today is January the 2nd. So, um, I think I told you guys in another vlog that they were supposed to start the staircase renovation on January the 1st. Just in case you're new here, this wall is getting knocked out and it's getting replaced with a uh, stair railing. So, we had to push that back until January the 5th, which is Friday. So, demolition is supposed to start Friday, hopefully and prayfully. Um... I don't know if you guys know it, but there is a paint shortage. So it's kind of been hard to get paint. Um, I was trying to get some paint for my sliding glass door. I've been trying to get it for about a month now and I wasn't able to get it. So I just kind of pulled some paint out of my garage, some black paint, and I painted my sliding glass door. I think I'm going to do like a, a video on it. Um, so I basically painted um, the door black. Let me just stand back and I'll insert a picture of what it looked like before. Let me see. 
but this is what it looks like now and it was just white before so so my plans are to finish that so I think I'm just gonna do like a separate video but I'm just kind of sharing you guys what I'm working on today if you have not already seen which I'm quite sure you have I switched my living area around so these are the curtains that were hanging up over um, on the sliding glass door. I think I'm going to just get rid of them and get some new ones. Um, so basically, I kind of switch things around. I have my sofa over here. I have my console ottoman, which is from Z Gallery as part of the Sequoia collection. This is right here. I have my Z Gallery access mirror that is right there where it's always been and then I just kind of move the chairs right across from the sofa so this is how it looks when you come in now so pretty much when you walk into the area this is what you see so if someone will walk in this is how the setup will look to be honest I'm I'm not sure if this is how it's going to stay uh, we shall see. I share with you guys in another vlog that I'm getting a new sofa. So I'll probably keep it like this until the new sofa comes in, which won't be anytime soon. Probably summertime if I get the, the sofa that I'm actually considering getting, which is from Restoration Hardware. It's probably about 30 weeks out. So, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm working on today. I just wanted to kind of, I want to finish that because I want to, get everything cleaned up but all of the Christmas decoration is gone this is a new year we hit the reset button and I'm just ready to start on my home projects I love vlogging guys but I really really prefer to bring home content opposed to vlogging because that's just what I'm passionate about so um, I'm excited to just kind of get started on some new some new stuff and um, so yeah so that's what I'm working on today I think I may go get me some fresh shrimp, do a little shrimp pot, chill. Um, yeah. So I'll check back in with you guys a little later, a little later. lovers so I finish my sliding glass door um if I didn't tell you already I'm going to do an entire video on this so if you're watching this vlog and you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe because it's going to be um like an entire makeover of this area I'm going to get some curtains I'm going to get a black curtain rod this is just the beginning process that I'm sharing in this vlog but there will be a separate video so this is how it looks as I stated, it's not complete. So I'm gonna allow it to dry, but just to kind of, let me see if I can give you like a close up. I don't even think you can see it, but see like those areas where there's paint, I'm gonna go in like with a razor blade and just clean, clean it up. So the painting part is done. Here's the area right here. So. I'll go in like with the razor once it dry and just kind of get that stuff off. Um, but just to kind of stand back, this is how it'll this is how it looks so far. And I'm gonna add a black um, a black curtain rod. The paint color that I use is Black Magic by Sherwin Williams. It's the Duration brand. 
I'm gonna leave the paint out just in case I need to touch up some spots. But this is the same color that I painted my powder room. So this was what I had in my garage because there's a painting shortage. The color that I wanted, I wasn't able to get. So I just pulled that out of the garage. But if you wanna see that paint color in more detail, I'll link my powder room video in the description box because my entire powder room is black and I painted, I painted that myself as well. So um, I'm done with that project for today. I'm gonna head to get me some shrimp before my seafood guy leaves. I hope he's still there. But I'm gonna get me some shrimp because I think I'm gonna do like a shrimp pot a little later. Some shrimp and corn and potatoes and broccoli. Do I have some mushrooms? So yeah, so that's where I'm headed. Let me show y'all what I got for Christmas from my godmother. See, this is what I get for when I'm out shopping for Christmas presents and I'm buying stuff that I don't need. I end up getting a large bottle of the MCM perfume from my godmother. This is the 2.5 ounce and I think I purchased the 1.7 ounce when I was out Christmas shopping. And so now I have two bottles. So I may give a bottle, I may give the smaller bottle to my daughter. I better not say that on the vlog because if she watches it, she'll come over here and get it. Cause she took my bottle of Soleil de Janeiro. She heard me telling you guys how sweet it was. And she was like, well mama, you might as well give it to me. And I was like, okay. And then when she came over to take it, I'm like, why is you touching my stuff? Because I opened my big mouth. So I don't know if I'm gonna give it to her, but I might. But um, so yeah, so now I have two bottles and I really don't need two bottles, so I will most likely give it to her so because she's trying to build up her perfume collection and you know i want to help her do that so all right let me go let me go see y'all later good morning lifestyle lovers so today is the first Monday of 2022. And I'm in here um, getting ready for work. So I'm headed into the office. I'm not sure what's going to be my schedule this week, but I think everybody's kind of like reporting back to the office to see what's going to be the consensus. If we're going to be working from home, hybrid, like we were, um, but I'm just going in. I'm just lotioning up my body. I'm using this Equate body oil gel um, to lotion up. So I'm gonna just show you guys what I'm wearing. I actually have on a logo shirt, which <laughs> I think I've told you guys that before. Uh, it's not very professional to wear like a logo shirt to a corporate environment, but it's 2022 and this is what I pulled out this morning. So I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm not gonna worry about any rules today. So I'm gonna just show you guys what I'm wearing. I think I'm gonna do like a little color blocking today. So I have on this Balmain um, t-shirt that I've had for a few years. I think Farfetch still has this. So if, if they do, I'll link it. And then I'm just doing like a green broom skirt um i've had this for a few years as well but i think i purchased this from one of those kind of like shein sites or amazon it was something like that but if i can find this i'll link this as well and i'm just going to do like this pink jacket and i'm going to do these uh steve matten pumps so for my scent, I ordered another Tom Ford fragrance. It's kind of, the lighting is horrible here. Oh, let me see, why does it look like that? Mm -mm, this. So for my scent, I ordered another Tom Ford fragrance because I, I was trying to kind of build up a collection of travel size Tom Fords. So I returned the bitter peach that I told you guys in a few vlogs black and I ordered this one i can't think of the name but i'll put it on the screen it's tom ford something but once i got it and i just smelled the nozzle 
It smells kind of old lady. So I didn't spray it. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. So I didn't spray it on my on my skin just to see. I don't know if I like that. It smells like alcohol. So it's time, let me see. I may return this one as well. I guess me trying to start a Tom Ford travel collection isn't going to work. Because I returned Bitter Peach. And I don't like this one either. I think I throw the box away. So I might be stuck with it. I think I did. Oh my God. But this is how it looks. But I don't like it. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so this is my outfit for work with all of my attire. So I'm getting ready to head out. I'm going to stop, stop the Starbucks and get me a coffee. I may just get it at work because we do have a Starbucks in our building. So I may just wait till I get to work if the line is long. But, so yeah. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so I'm in the quarantine headed to work. I'm going to see if the line is not too long for Starbucks. I'm going to see and stop and see if I can get a Starbucks from my local Starbucks. But I just wanted to have like a little car chit chat with you guys. So some of the things I want to kind of talk about, I'm not going to say my New Year's resolutions, but maybe some things that I want to incorporate into 2022, the new year. I was considering maybe doing like a pescatarian diet. Um, I'm not 100% sure about that, but I do want to kind of start practicing it. And the only thing about trying to, you know, whether you do vegetarian, pescatarian, is the convenience. Because when you're out, you know, just say for instance, running around or looking for lunch, maybe on your lunch break, when you don't meal prep, you pretty much have to meal prep it's kind of hard to find those options, decent options. So that's one of the things that I want to incorporate. And also, I don't think I'm going to be dating in 2022. Me and Babe, I'm quite sure you guys probably have already figured it out, but you know, we're not together. So, um, so this year, I think I just kind of want to focus on getting my business up and running. Um, I want to focus on some goals with my nine to five. You know, I just got accepted into like a uh, mentorship program where I can kind of, I really don't know a lot about it, but um, let me see. So I just want to kind of focus on those things. Not saying that I'm not open to love anymore because of course I am you know it's just gonna have to fall in my lap basically <laughs> pretty much like it did last time that's kind of like how, how, how it was with babe I was minding my own business and it kind of fell in my lap but it didn't work out um, so it's just going to it's gonna have to find me because I'm not looking for it which I was looking for it before but um, I will say if it happens, it's just going to have to kind of happen by chance because my focus is going to be on other things. My girlfriend suggested, is, is that the line? Girl, why the line be so long? I'm not standing in that line. I'm not getting in that line. We have a Starbucks in my building anyway, um, but they can't make coffee worth a shit neither. That's why I was going to go ahead and stop the Starbucks. So, But anyway, my girlfriend pretty much told me what she did was she wrote down everything that she wanted in a man. Um, some of her things was kind of superficial, I thought, um, because she had like nice car on there. And um, I thought that was kind of superficial. She said she didn't think so. She said, because I drive a nice car. So I'm not asking for anything that, that I don't have. So she wanted a man with a nice car. Um, and she had some other things, but basically she got the man that she manifested. And he wants to marry her. So she suggested to me to make a list 
and write down everything that you want in a mate, a companion, on that list. Write down everything that you want and do not deviate from it. So she say, basically, if you go on a date, you know, and he doesn't match that list or what you have because it's basically what you want, don't, don't go on a second date. This is what she suggested to me. Um, I am going to make a list, but I don't know, you know, like I said, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be dating in 2022. So if anything changes, I'll let you guys know, but I'm... I'm I, I, I really don't have any desire to um, to date right now. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. I'm going to go ahead, head to the job. Hopefully, today is a great day. You know what? I think I left my planner. Do I have my planner? Ah, I think I left my planner, y'all. Okay. All right, lifestyle lovers. So I'll check back in with you guys um, after work. Peace. Hey, lifestyle lovers. So it's a little later on in the evening. I pretty much did like a hybrid day. I went in, um, worked from the office, came home probably about two o'clock, got some lunch, and then finished the remainder of my day from home. So once I logged off, I went to Hobby Lobby and um, I got some things that I'm going to show you guys. Just basically two things i'm just gonna turn the heat on because i'm cold it was um i was kind of underdressed today because it was so damn windy outside it was cold as hell so i'm 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 so i'm turning on the heat can you guys see how the light changed when i came from the living area to the kitchen so that's why I'm definitely, definitely, definitely getting um, recessed lighting in here because I I need it. This got to be a YouTube house. So I'm going to just show you guys what I got and I'll probably just go ahead and end the vlog. So I picked up these, uh, I don't know what they're called, but these flowers, let me see. So I went in Hobby Lobby and I picked up these like faux flowers to place in my Eclipse vase because I think I wanted to kind of do something different before I had like some decorative uh, balls or some decorative spears in the vase. But I wanted to kind of do something different. And and I picked up this uh, while I was at checkout. It's just like a vlogging kit. It was like $10. So it looks like a tripod stand that I could, let me back up. So it looks like a tripod stand and it has like a play and pause button that I could use for my new uh, phone. So I don't know if it's worth anything cause it was only $10, but I needed another one of these because the other one I can't find or I don't know where it's at. So I'll probably arrange these kind of like this. I only purchased six, so I may need some more to get it a little fuller. I don't know, should I bend them? Let me see how it looks. Maybe I'll bend them. Oh no. I don't think I want that. I think I, I like them. I like them standing tall. I'll just kind of like play around with them. I may even add some water um, to the vase. Okay, lifestyle lovers, I just added some water to my um, vase. And if you're wondering where this vase from, I purchased it from Z Gallery. It's called the Eclipse Vase. So if I can find it, I'll make sure I link it below. But this is how it looks. And I, I really, really like it. So I just, um, I just purchased six, but I actually, I think I'm gonna need a few more. So the next time I go in Hobby Lobby, I'm just gonna grab some more when I go back in there, but this is pretty much how it looks on the table. And I like it, it looks very nice and clean. So, and you can't even tell that, <laughs> that they're not real. So yeah, I like this look. So I think I'm gonna keep it like that for a while. Show you guys like a different angle. 
So this is how it looks like when you, if someone was to enter the room, it looks really good. I like that. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, lifestyle lovers. I need to finish kind of cleaning in here. I have switched it around a little bit. So I need to clean the floors. I never did do that and clean the bookcase. But you guys either will see that in another video or you probably have already seen it in the clean with me. But that's pretty much it for this video, lifestyle lovers. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.